happy birthday, my dear. I hope uh, that you enjoy all the tributes. I hope all the people that I sent tribute to are going to uh, send them back. Uh, but um, I, I'm not going to answer any questions um, because there are no questions and answers between us. So all there is between us is love. Um, you are glue in my life. I don't know how I would live if you were not by my side and my partner every day, uh, my support, um, you know, beyond best friend, um, just my rib, you know, um, so I just hope that we can continue on as each other's ribs for the rest of our lives. And I hope that that continues for as long as it can go on. But I know that if you were not by my side, that I don't know how I would be able to continue on. I love you. That's not even a sufficient word for what I feel. Um, I feel that you are just my life, and um, that's all I can say. Happy birthday. Hey, Andrea. Happy birthday from Philadelphia, from Jeff, your old uh, freshman English uh, colleague. <laughs> In any case, uh, my birthday's on February 4th, too, and I'll be celebrating it in Italy, in Montecatini Terme, with my wonderful wife. So all the best to you. I hope you have a fabulous birthday. Take care. Happy birthday, Andrea. It's your girls. Happy birthday, TT. Happy birthday, Stomper. Happy birthday, Slammer. Happy birthday to our dear friend, Andrea. We are so happy to be able to make this tribute to you and let you know what a wonderful, beloved, caring, generous, and accepting friend you are. And we love you very much. The question was, one of your favorite memories? Well, it's one of the questions. I would have to say one of my favorite memories with you, TT, just might have to do with that evening on the porch. Yeah, after a night of much celebration, one of my favorites. Uh, one of my favorite memories, well, not, one of the things I love best about Andrea is that She's the only person I know that could sleep through five seasons of Game of Thrones and be happier than I am. Rest peacefully and <laughs> still have a good time and still keep showing up week after week. <laughs> anyway, Andrea, there are only two people on this planet that we would love to and do go away with every summer and have a most Fun time, a howling good time, full of Guaranteed. stomping, stomping and slamming and tripping and <laughs> tripping. drinking and laughing and eating lots of lobster. Yeah. Anyway, we love you so very much and we hope you have a wonderful birthday. We'd like to get, do a little toast to you. To you, Andrea. Happy birthday. Love you. Hello. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday to, to you. you. So we've known you for over 30 years since our your first job out of B school at uh, Citibank. And our kids have grown up together. And we're still thrilled that we're you're still in our lives. And we're still in your lives. And we wish you a very happy birthday. And this is our third attempt. So hopefully three times is a charm. Have a at great day and a great year. And we love you. Bye. Hi, um, Teresa. I've known Andrea for a long time. I feel like I inherited her uh, because she was a 
a friend of Joe Leghorn, my husband's brother, before we met. And it was a pleasure to move to New Rochelle and get to know her. And one of the questions you asked is, what's my favorite thing about Andrea? And there are too many favorite things for me to just list one. I love her warmth, her compassion, her caring, her sense of humor. I love her ability to embrace a lot of different ideas and be open to new ideas. Uh, she's a great friend who tries to be there for all her friends. And I just think she's a wonderful person all around. And it's been a joy to be her friend. And I look forward to more shared adventures in the days to come. Thanks, Andrea. Happy birthday. So I've known Andrea a long time and it's hard to think of just one memory out of years and years of friendship. Uh, I think we've known each other since 1986 when, when Tom and I moved to Westchester. And of course, Tom has known Andrea since he was 12. Um, so she's always been a part of my life and, and a treasured friend. Um, but we have a lot of great memories together, a lot of outings to the theater, a lot of fun nights, dinners out, um, a lot of vacation memories in Cape Cod. Uh, and especially memories with our kids because our kids grew up together, they were friends together. We would often have what we call the prisoner exchange where we'd have dinner together and then one of the kids would go to their house with one of their kids and the other two would come to our house. So those were all fun memories. Uh, also a lot of memories volunteering together, working on events for the New Rochelle Public Library and the Arts Council and the Huguenot Children's Library and all those things that Andrea and Peter did to help our community. Um, and finally, we had a really great tradition of getting together um, at our house on Christmas Day and at their house for Passover um, to kind of share our traditions. And I guess if I had to pick one favorite memory with Andrea, it would be the Passover at her house when my parents were here and her parents were here. I think um, Peter's dad was there and it was just a, a magical, fantastic family memory, sharing all of our families and blending them all together. So thank you, Andrea, for being a wonderful friend. I love you. And here's to more memories. Bye. It's hard to pick one favorite thing about my mom. Uh, things I love about her, uh, her hugs, her willingness to help, the way she can work through a tough situation. Um, the way she always knows what to say to make me feel better. Her willingness to sacrifice her cooking skills. The way she gets ridiculously tipsy off one glass of wine. Her unconditional love. Just really happy that she ended up being my mom. Happy birthday. I love you. My favorite part about Andrea Rothberg, honestly, it's the fact that she is just so much damn fun. Uh, we have a tremendous time together, Andrea, and every moment that we spend working together and having fun together is uh, just great for me. And I really appreciate your friendship very much. And I want you to know that that drive that we took from Michigan to Ohio, and the good talk that we had along the way is a memory that I will never, ever forget. Thank you very much, my friend, and have a wonderful, happy birthday. Hi, Andrea. Happy 65th birthday. There are so many memories dating back to Bronx Science, visiting 4452 Monticello Avenue to have dinners with your folks, Junior Journals, Kachi Press, lots of wonderful times. Then all the wonderful times we had at Vassar together and everything since then. Anyway, I just wanted to wish you a very happy 65th birthday and wish I could be there to celebrate with you in person. Anyway, happy birthday. Hi, Andrea. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. This is really fun for us. And I can't wait to see you in person and give you our uh, regards. Uh, and in terms of one of my favorite things about you, Andrea, is that you have so much energy and spunk. You are a spunky person. You get us out, you party, 
you try things, you're the most adventurous woman I know. And uh, it's every minute, minute we've been with you has always been a blast. We, we love you. And I would say my favorite thing is, is that you're just so easy in every social situation. And um, it's al always, no matter what crowd we're in, you're always at home. Yeah. Uh, and in terms of favorite memories, well, I have to tell you, I still remember the thank you note you wrote to my parents. They were so impressed the time you visited us in Aberdeen Proving Grounds. Uh, and again, it, it, you just have this way with people. Uh, but favorite uh, memories, I love the car ride we had together when we were still dating and we shared our deepest, darkest secrets, which we will not talk about here. Uh, that was amazing and we really bonded then. And your wedding, our wedding, the famous hot tub in the snow incident. <laughs> um, all the wonderful times, da, 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 all the wonderful times we had in uh, Liberty together. It's, it's all been just amazing. Yes, and I, th I think it's almost ridiculous to try and come up with a favorite memory <laughs> of you and Peter. Um, there are just, honestly, there really are too many and you could just you might be able, it would be hard to even do it by decade, much <laughs> less having, trying to pick out a single one. So, um, so I'm not even going to try. So there. So, there. so, <laughs> so Andrea, again, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Can't wait to see you. Love, kisses, and a toast to you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Happy birthday, Andrea. We love you. Can't wait to party all year with you. From the first time we spent New Year's together, now how many years later? At least 40. <laughs> <laughs> and our brief marriage in Jamaica, which I'm sure you have pictures to document. We hope you have a great day and see you soon. Love you. Love Bye. You. Bye. Hi, guys. So I was asked to make a tribute for my mom, which I love you so much, mama. And the two basic questions were, what do you love about your mom? And what are your favorite memories? First of all, not fair, because there are too many of both. As far as memories, first and foremost, any time that I'm sick at home, any time that I'm feeling bad, she is there. You're with me by my side. You're giving, you're trying to feed me gallons of matzo ball soup, which always makes me feel better. And I love you for that. Thank you so much. Anytime that we've traveled together, Amsterdam, Budapest, even Italy. I know we had some hard times, but even that was fun. <laughs> um, so things that I love about mom, again, too many to say, but what I broke it down to your love of theater and arts and culture which you taught me your love of travel and people especially the ones that you don't know which you also taught me your support and love that you give to friends and family they know who they are and especially the immense amount of love that you show me and Ethan, or Ethan and I, because you're an English major. <laughs> Most importantly, the fact that you're my mom. Thank you 
for doing everything that you have and always supporting me in everything that you do. I love you so much. I love you so much. Hi, Andrea. From Mrs. Sperber to Mr. Schoenberg, the Italian Culture Club in Marola. Quite a journey. Happy birthday and many more. Bye bye. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Andrea. We'll do it again, okay? One, two, three. Happy birthday, Andrea.